Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and guys today it's Tuesday and that means we're gonna cover the in-game news that got released. So let's jump into it right now. Let's go here. Featured. Summon. We gotta get a new character this Friday. Rivera and I gotta say she looks pretty pretty cool. Uh, she looks like, uh, you know, somebody who's straight up out of the orchestra, but uh, Rivera is going to be dropping this Friday the 26th and uh, she comes with her step up banner. So basically step 1 is going to be a thousand lapis, step 2 2000 lapis, step 3 4000 and step 4 5000. They're 5% 5 rainbow rate across all stages. So on step 1 you're going to get a 1 times, uh, 1 1.5 times rate up, 1.5 times rate up on step 2, on step 3 2 times rate up and on step 4 you're going to be guaranteed the unit also if you buy the talented conductor bundle you will be acquiring rivera so she's going to be in the bundle so if you guys buy the bundle you get a five star ex ticket and also you're going to get the unit now rivera we don't we don't have much on her but uh the stuff that i've been reading on is uh she's probably going to be like an illusionist nicole 2.0 meaning that she she's going to be able to give well, we still have to wait for the kit because everything can be changed, all right? So until the unit comes out, guys, a lot of things can still be changed. But uh, apparently she's going to be able to do, uh, not dual cats, but she's going to be able to give an ally provoke. And she's going to be able to cover, make an ally cover. So like Illusius Nicole, where he's able to give uh, physical cover to a, not any ally. Well, she's going to be able to do the same thing. So basically makes any character in your team become a tank. Also, she's going to be able to heal, so I can't wait to see exactly what her kit is. And uh, on Thursday, after maintenance, we're going to be able to see the data mine and everything on her. And hopefully, she's going to be really, really good. And it's going to, you know, it's going to make you want to summon for her. Because the step, is, step up is actually really, really cheap. And also, if you guys want to buy the bundle, we'll see the price of the bundle. I'm pretty sure it's going to be around $66 here in Canada. But uh, hopefully, it's going to be a little bit cheaper for you guys out there in the US and maybe in uh, Latin America and Europe and all this good stuff. So our Super Trust Master, Formal Suit, Defense 28, Magic 35, Spirit 74, Boost Light and Dark Resistance by 30%, Enables Prestige, Reduce MP Consume by Abilities by 30%. So a little bit like I think it's a uh, Transterra Super TMR that does that, that uh, lowers the amount of MP consume whenever doing it. So that's pretty good. Or Trust Master Conductor's Baton, Magic plus 20, a Spirit plus 90, MP plus 200, that's pretty nice right here, enables Sonorous Hope, restore MP and use Improvised Serenade every turn, uh, enables Improvised Serenade, restores HP and MP for two random allies, so that's actually pretty cool, that's actually not that bad, that's actually a really really cool uh, thing that they're adding to the weapon. For featured abilities, in the limelight, one use every four turns, add light elemental to physical attack for all allies and reduce light resistance for all enemies. If it's something like 100% in peril, that thing could be really, really strong. And she gets Vigilant Orchestra, one use every seven turn, add chance of guarding allies against physical damage uh, and reduce damage taken to an ally and boost their defense and resistance to defense reduction. So that's actually pretty, pretty good. And uh, Core Solo, Temporarily increased chance of being targeted and reduced damage taken for one ally for three turns So basically she's gonna be able to make any unit provoke for three turns So that's really really cool and that's pretty much all we know about this unit So hopefully on Thursday after the data mine we're gonna be able to know a little bit more about the unit Then the Empress of Virtue and I gotta say guys I don't know about you but I really really love the uh, story event for uh, this I really like the uh, cartoon and the comic book style so for me uh, what they did here was really really cool the units look really really good so Gumi thumbs up for this one because that looks really really good uh, so we're gonna be able to fight uh, what's her name I forgot her name Morgana we're gonna be able to fight Morgana and here's what Mr. Kupo has to say about it as beautiful as she is dangerous Morgana uses powerful element attacks that can reduce uh, your party's resistance against different elements, Kupo. Make sure to exploit her weakness against light. 
and prepare and to prepare your party's elemental resistance before facing her in battle Kupo. Be careful when using fire, lightning, water or earth elemental attacks as she retaliates fiercely when damaged by them Kupo. Uh, obviously if you guys have Elena you're going to be able to do a lot of damage to her with her light elementals attack. Also Aurora Fravia, Aurora, Aurora Fravia can actually be really really good in this fight and any other characters. Bring Orlando! Make yourself a challenge and bring old school Chainer Orlando and see if you guys can beat that even easier. Now the mission rewards. Uh, I gotta say there's something really 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 bad and uh, we're gonna go over them after. So mission reward completion rewards. Complete the quest. You get Imperial Ambitious which is a uh, materia. Boost magic and spirit by 20% and uh, boost LB gauge fill rate. Which is okay, uh, older player will not be using this, but newer players, you will be using this because this is actually not that bad. Then defeat the Empress of Virtue with a Limit Burst, Astral Blade, that's what you get. Attack, 89, Magic plus 52, it's a two-handed weapon, Light Elemental attached to it, and chance of, of inflicting Blind or Confusion. That can actually be good for the arena, but uh, really not as strong as you should be but for newer player again that's really good and this is the reward that's really bad use white magic you get 10 lapis and clear without an ally being ko 10 lapis i don't know if that's a typo but seriously gumi you're giving us 20 lapis for completing a boss that is completely new and everything uh i gotta say for a third year anniversary not nice at all so gumi the event itself really good uh morgana elena the star, uh, the story, the comic book, the comic book, everything is great. But then you show up with this ten lapis, really. What do you want to do with ten lapis? Twenty lapis. So in my opinion, hopefully that's a typo. But uh, Gumi, please, no, don't, don't give us ten lapis. It's so cheap. It's really cheap. So, yeah, thumbs down for that one. Then we're gonna move on to the next one. We're gonna get a new raid event, so the Golden Bomb Rush. Collect event points to obtain completion rewards. So after the, uh, I think it's the Chow right now, the event for Final Fantasy, the uh, the raid that's up on Friday. It's gonna get, it's gonna be done, and this one is gonna start on the 26th. So you're gonna be able to fight the King Golden Bomb. You're gonna get like always the currency. You're gonna be ex able to basically summon with those coins and then you're gonna get the crafting equipment and this is the stuff you're gonna be able to do so first one accessory hp and def uh, hp and spirit plus 30 floral or b ob which uh, not for anything the hp is really low with only 30 but whatever spirit plus 30 raw stats is not that bad then another accessory the a type rifle scope Attack plus 20 and attack plus 20%. So that's not bad. Especially for you guys, newer players. Uh, make that because that thing could be actually pretty good for your physical attackers. And Eileen's dress, piece of clothing, MP plus 50, attack 24, defense plus 30, and spirit plus 15. Again, uh, this is not bad. If you're a newer player, use this. This is actually really, really good for your physical attackers. So make sure you guys use this. And like every single raid event, you will get the orbs right here. Every hour the orbs are going to recharge and you're going to be able to jump in and do some good stuff. And these are going to be the stuff you're going to be able to get. So uh, Magicite, some Moogles, those beautiful 4 star tickets that uh, I wish they would, you know, bring the rate up a little bit. But whatever, still good. It's still good. So we're going to get that new uh, raid event on Friday. Then we're going to get the latent abilities. It's going to be a new feature available after maintenance on Thursday. Certain units can now uh, can use new talented abilities after enlightened points are used to unlock them. So enlightenment points uh, can be used to unlock certain units talent abilities. Enlightenment points are awarded by clearing the various mission in the Chamber of Enlightenment. So we're going to see a little bit more about this in a few seconds. Within the Chamber of Enlightenment await four different missions. Bronze, Silver, Gold and Diamond. Clearing these missions will award players enlightenment points with diamonds uh, giving them the most points. So obviously the harder the, uh, the clearing mission is the more points you're going to get. So you guys can see right here. Uh, I think that's the keys that we're going to be able to get. So enlightenment keys. <coughs> Sorry about that. Four different keys, bronze, silver, gold, and diamond are required to unlock their respective mission in the Chamber of Enlightenment. So right here, 
under the chamber of riches uh the, all these stuff that are locked that we used to use a lot but now they're uh, always locked and we don't actually use them but you're gonna be able to do it right here these keys will be awarded from different events and also as rewards in series bosses battles refer to the series boss battles news for more details there will be additional mission free daily that is open in the chamber of enlightenment once per day which also rewards enlightenment points when cleared so uh my understanding is we're gonna get some of these uh keys whenever we're gonna do boss battles and stuff like that and also once a day you guys you guys are gonna be able to jump into this and basically do it and uh to be clear i need to check a little bit more on that but the uh, enlightenment points basically will get uh new abilities for your characters or just increase their abilities if i'm not mistaken so uh yeah or maybe make their new abilities maybe we're gonna be able to uh, dual cast with eileen and gumi how about that dual cast with eileen because she's still a really good character that's all I have to say. Then, we're going to get the epic 5-star guaranteed uh, ticket, which is a, another comeback. So you guys can purchase this in the bundle. And in that 5-star uh, sum uh, summon pool will only cons consist of the unit listed below. So Awakened Rain, Pyro Glacial last well, Lotus Mage Fina, CG Lid, CG Nicole, CG Jake, CG Sakura, and CG Axstar. So you guys, whenever you buy this bundle again i don't know how much they're gonna sell it if they sell it for like 30 bucks it's actually not that bad because you you can be guaranteed one of those units but uh more than that i don't think so but if you do need one of these units right here and you love these characters where well, you're going to be able to buy that beautiful bundle and acquire one of the units that you might want then i'm not going to go there but the story is going to continue because there's a big spoiler all right gumi again Whenever you put the story continues, try not to put spoilers as images. So I'm not going to open this, and if you guys haven't checked that out yet, and you're not too far in the story, don't open it. Alright, huge story spoiler alert, because I got spoiled this morning, but actually no, because I knew in JP, but whatever. Huge story spoil, don't open that, stay away from this. So that's it for the news, guys. Let me know down below. If you're interested about seeing the kit of Rivera. Also, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe down below. Leave a like on this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.